Hello and welcome. I am really excited. I picked up some goodies here and they are a couple kits from Hero Arts. So firstly, I have this bundle here, which is from the March um, monthly hero kit. And I have, I think this was a little bit of a freebie that came included. So this is an ombre ink pad, which is pretty cool. It's in, um, it's a dye ink and does it say, uh, color wise, it just says from pink to red. So, I mean, all of it looks pretty pink to me, but <laughs> there's that. And then from the March release, so this is the actual kit. And then there were some additional things that you could get that released uh, in March as well that coordinates really beautifully. So this one I picked up because I don't have anything like it. It's really cool. This is a red rubber background stamp and it has a lot of Chinese um, characters. So this one is, um, it's called Calligraphy Bold Prints. So really really gorgeous that and when you see what's inside the kit you'll see why it goes so well so this is the march 2024 monthly hero i don't subscribe but you can get them a la carte if you'd like and so this is how it arrives in a fun little project bag and then here are the goodies so there is um, let's see, off the top here, there are three Hero Hues ink cubes. They are Periwinkle, Deep Ocean, and Cherry, and they are the core inks, which I can never remember. I wish they put it on the packaging. I'm guessing these are dye-based inks, um, but I could be wrong. Do not quote me on that. <laughs> so, um, so that's three inks, and this was a freebie with uh, getting the kit. So, um, I don't know if it's still available, but that's, that's why I got that. And the kits are, there's actually two that you can get. You can get the classic kit, which is what I have here. And then besides that, I think there's a premium kit and you can get that separately or bundle the two together for um, an even better savings. So here's some inspiration as to what you can create with the products in the kit and with the um, release and this says the contents of the classic kit, which is what I have. And as I mentioned, the premium kit is a bit of an add-on. So um, you can get that one separately. I just chose not to get it this time around. And so here's what comes. So we have a stamp set. And this is a large six by eight. And the idea is that these are layering stamps, so you, these two go together so that you can stamp one on the other to give you some shadows and highlights. So those are the mountains there. Um, and it even has sort of the trees in the foreground. There's a separate stamp for the water, which you don't have to necessarily use if you don't want to, because um, I think that this is just a nice tree line. So if you didn't want it to be water in front, you don't necessarily have to use that. This is um, sort of the moon and then you can stamp this into the water to give that sort of idea of a reflection. So I think that's really cool. And then there's lots of things, silhouettes that you can add, like there's, um, that's a boat. This is somebody who's um, canoeing. You've got some different plants and um, animal life. So really fun, very cool. I love the font of the sentiments, which you get quite a few. So there's thank you, calm, um, enjoy the journey, smooth sailing, wishing you uh, peace of mind. Oh, that's really nice. Wishing you peace of mind. Um, so that is the stamp set. Then we have two dies, um, and these 
don't come packaged like in their own cello packaging. So this is how it arrived for me anyways. So you have one that is a cover plate. And so look at this, how intricate this is. So that will cut, um, you can actually, you can detab this and use it um, two ways, I guess, if you wanted, or you can just leave it. But basically this piece here uh, will cut that really ornate design out. And the outer plate will just deboss that design. And so if you wanted to leave these and just use always use them together, you could. But they are they are tabbed so that you can um, detach it. And that way you can just have one without the other. And the inner circle here, this will cut the design into your paper, but it does not have an outside cutting edge. So to use this, if you were to detab it, you could just have a, uh, a circle, just your basic shape circle die cut. And, um, and actually if you have like nested circles, that would be really good because you can cut the design into one and then layer it on top of another piece behind it and then um, have you know two looks to it. So here's how it looks if you were to um, nestle the two together and cut them together. So you have that that design cut into the paper, but you can see it's still part of the full panel. And it's hard to tell from the printout, but that panel is embossed. But here's where they've detabbed it. They've taken out that um, the die in the center and just used the surrounding debossed panel. And that creates um, a nice little design there. Um, now when you use this panel like that, the circle doesn't cut out in the center here. So if you want that aperture, you would just find a circle that is going to fit within this space and then you can cut that out or you can do your um, scene, cut it out and then layer it on top however you'd like to work with it. So I, I like that there are options and I will likely detab mine. I'm just not gonna do it um, here in the unboxing. And then this die is a coordinating um, die. This is a frame cuts for your stamps. So all of the sentiments look to have coordinating dies, the various individual um, Images have their own dies, and when you stamp out this scene of the mountains and the trees and the water, it does look like you have you have a die to cut that out. But if you look at it, it it only it's this die right here, and the thing is is that there's no there's no bottom cutting edge. So this would be kind of neat to do maybe an easel card where you can have a shaped. Um, top to your easel so that panel can be shaped and sort of a close cut with that um, mountain line at the top so that's kind of cool nice to have that option because it's it's going to stay attached at the bottom so the this can be as long as it needs to be so that's really neat and so that does come included as well and then in addition, I thought these were kind of cool. I've been really digging rub-ons lately. I used some from Graphic 45 and now I'm kind of hooked on them. So this is, uh, it looks that you have two sheets and they are the same, it looks. So that's really cool. Um, and it's just, it's, I don't know if it's exactly the same characters. It looks to be, yeah. It looks to be the same characters as what's on the stamp. So that's really cool. I'm, I'm glad I have the stamp, but it's fun to have the rub-ons. It, it's a different scale, as you can see. Uh, so it's a little bit smaller, but it's really fun. And you kind of have these um, these stamps. They're, they're called chops, where they're like carved into um, like a stone, and then you can stamp them. Um, and they come in different... different um, formats like circular square it's whatever you want so that's really cool then there's the um 
uh, it's just really cool accents. I mean, I just love this stuff. So it, I think, would be great for doing um, art journaling pages and really fun for cards and stuff too. Just very different to anything I have. So I love that. Um, I love the theme of all of this. So it's really, really fun. So that is what I got. That's the monthly uh, March monthly hero kit. And then Joanne had a bit of a sale. And so I picked up been getting into mixed media what with the uh, collaboration I did with my crafty fun friends and so I picked this up this is um, by Hero Arts as well and it's a how-to kit on um, how to use their metallic sprays and so the line of media supplies that this uh, focuses on is their two-tone metallic sprays and I got this as a as an addition just because it was on sale as well and I don't believe it's in this kit hopefully hopefully I read that right but um but let me get into this box and show you what comes with so the idea I think there were a couple of different um, sort of how-to kits focusing on different techniques and this one this one seemed uh, really interesting to me so it's the only one it's the only one I picked up but there were others and I don't know if it's still on sale but let's see what all we get so oh that's interesting okay so two-tone metallic sprays in uh, yellow plus copper and blue plus shimmer and then there's a purple glimmer metallic ink two stencils water flow brush water mist bottle two sheets of white cardstock three sheets of watercolor paper okay so so i've noticed that a lot of um companies will send their sprays this way where it's it's just the powder so this is really light it only has um the powder in it and I think that helps with the cost of shipping and then it also prevents any sort of potential leaking but the idea then is that see how it's it's there's no liquid in there um the idea is then you would fill this up yourself with water and I would definitely I don't know what they're going to recommend but I would definitely recommend using a distilled water so that you don't have any um any kind of smell that develops over time, especially if it takes you a long time to work through it. And it's interesting, one of these is supposed to be blue. So it's gonna be fun to see what happens when you add the water because that's when the, um, I'm guessing it's a dye-based, um, uh, it's gonna be dye-based when it uh, blooms. And my guess is so one of these is copper and yellow i'm guessing that's going to be this one actually and then the other is blue it just says blue plus shimmer so i'm guessing it's a gold shimmer um that's my guess yeah it's ocean blue plus gold so that is going to be this one so it's interesting that at the moment what we're seeing is i guess the mica come through because that's what the shimmer is and then when we add water, I guess, is when we're going to see the rest of that bloom. But what's cool is that they've given a an empty bottle, too. So you could use this as a dry powder, I'm guessing. I don't know. I've never used these before. But you can use it, my guess, as a uh, dry powder and then just spritz to activate the water that way. And what's cool is that if you don't want to fill this up entirely... You know, one of the things that I I have a bunch of is I have these little these little mini misters, and what I do sometimes is I'll just mix my own. Like I'll just take a little bit of the powder, put it in here, add add water, and then mix as I go. And then if I wanted to kind of dabble with, uh, just combining these or mixing other colors in with them you can do that and so the actual packaging of what these sprays look like is like this so two-tone metallic spray so you'll notice that like when you get stuff in the kit it looks like it doesn't really have the the final sort of retail packaging which I'm I'm totally cool with because 
that's how the kits can be made available for a nice price. <laughs> so I'm not mad at that. But that does mean that maybe you want to print off something to, to label it yourself so that you know what's what. But here's how it would look if you um, if you did buy it on its own. And I got this as, a, um, as another color to play with. So this one's spring green and then I'll have a yellow copper and a blue with gold. So that, um, this was an aside, so I'll put that there. And then in that kit as well is this glimmer metallic purple, which, oh, this is actually a liquid. Oh, interesting. Okay. So it'd be interesting to see like how to, how to work with that. There's a brush, a water brush, um, two stencils, a polka dot one and a chevron one, and then some papers. And interesting. Okay. So all of the, like, <laughs> cause it's funny. I was like, this says how to, but there's no instructions. So I guess all of the instructions are here on the box for the various different techniques that you can use for working with these media supplies. So that's that's kind of interesting. Um, and my guess is that Hero Arts will have plenty of tutorial video tutorials on their YouTube channel as well. So I'll check that out. But it does look like um, that's that's all that came in the box. So then, you know, these are these are the how to instructions. <laughs> so I'm going to have a play with this um, today, probably. And we'll see what's what I've got. Um, crafty fun coming up uh, soon. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready for that. And you'll see this video probably pop up after uh, my crafty fun episode. <laughs> All right. Thanks for uh, checking this haul out. I'll leave links to everything in the description box below if you want to check any of that out for yourself. And until next time, happy crafting and have a fabulous day. Bye.